Welcome to another quick tutorial. Um, as I know, most of you are already understanding how to use Cinema 4D, but you might have a specific question. And today we're just going to show you how to use the measurement tool, um, which is a quick and easy way to know the size and dimensions of whatever object you're working on. So right now my units are set to centimeters. Um, first and foremost, if you want to change the units, go in and under units in your preferences. You can now pick from anything that you want here. Let's go to feet since we're in the United States and work from there. So I have a basic cube and what we want to do is just basically set this up so that anytime I make any changes throughout my modeling I know exactly some basic sizes of my cube. So first thing I'm going to do is make it editable so that now I can see these points and for right now I'm going to just display it the lines so I can actually easily click through the object and pick any point I want. Under tools you'll find very simply measure and construction and what I'm going to do is it comes in already with a, a, a tool here for measuring and the nice thing about this is it can be snapped anywhere so I can snap this to that point and I can also move this other point down and snap it to the other corner so as you'll notice now I know the height of this cube and I can verify it well I could have verified it before I made it edible but basically now it's set at six feet 6.562 feet keeping the tool active I can now create another measurement I'm gonna do the width and let's drag it over same thing now I've got the width over here and oh I'm sorry I have to while in the tool click new measure so I'll need to go back and put back into place my original height measurement so now I have two measurements and I'm gonna do one more measurement which is obviously gonna be our depth of our cube here so it can get a little tricky dragging these points around but they'll snap into place so now I have this set up and I can change my display back to the shading if I so desire and in my cube I can now do some reshaping and as I drag let's say I want this to go out to 11 feet I can drag it or I could input that there I know the dimensions of this need to be around 3 feet and I want the width to be or sorry the height to come down a bit so it's nice if you are working from a design or you have the dimensions written down to just have these set up for your design so that the whole time you're working you already you always have a, an idea of scale and that way you didn't get don't get too far down the line modeling and then realize that your dimensions are off and it might actually impact the uh, the model that you're working on so very simple tutorial very helpful I think if uh, you're getting into this and you need to be respectful of certain dimensions so you're working on a a house or a car or something like that. So anyway, this has been a quick tutorial. Thanks for watching.